Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning out my February uh, reading log page. I thought um, it's basically February 27th, not sure when I'll post this, but I wanted to update my reading log in my journal and decided I would do it on camera. So if you guys have been following, you'll know that I started my reading journal this year. Super excited about it. Um, I have some videos that I posted previously as to how I set it up if you guys are interested in seeing how this kind of came to be. So I did back plan from last year because last year was the year that I read the most books ever in one year and thought it would be really cool to kind of document <clears throat> my reading journey. Um, but today I wanted to showcase, oh yes, I wanted to add in the best of uh, January and February because I have my top books for these last two months and um, I wanted to also plan out um, or not plan out but add in the February page here. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do if you guys watch my previous video you know I um, sort of print out these covers from goodreads.com and I downsize them to about an inch in height and keep the proportion uh, locked. Um, and yeah, the reason I printed out The Housemaid again, as uh, you'll see that I read it in January, was because it actually made my um, best of 2023 list, and I was waiting to print out my February list, so I wasn't like wasting all this paper to link it together. <clears throat> so that would be my um, best read of 2020 to January. So let me cut all these out here. So as you can see, there are some titles here that, actually there's a lot of titles here, and I did not read everything this month, but I started to sort of put in books that I plan to read in the upcoming months so that I don't have to keep printing. Um, <clears throat> oops, sorry about that. A little bit of a shake there. Okay, yeah. So yeah, and then some of the extra books, my plan is to store them in here. I actually think I have a couple here just to um, have them easier, <clears throat> have an easier access to them when I want to put them in my reading journal. So I definitely, um, one thing I started doing recently was I downloaded the Kindle Unlimited app or uh, signed up for Kindle Unlimited. And if you're not sure what that is, it is basically a subscription service to thousands of titles on um, the Kindle. So you don't actually need to have a Kindle if you don't have a Kindle <clears throat> per se. You could actually just read off the Kindle app on your phone. So these here, um, obviously this didn't show up. Probably have to reprint and edit the brightness here, but these are books that I'm going to be reading in the future. Did not read that this month. So I'm just gonna put that aside to save time. And I read all these this month. And then I think in here, it ends right around here. So I'm just maybe going to <clears throat> cut this one in half and show you guys how I just plan to just put these away in the front pocket <clears throat> for future. All right, so now that that is organized, let's take a look here. <clears throat> so the reason I have the Ballad of Never Ever, uh, the Ballad of um, Never After, by Stephanie Garber is because that was actually my top pick for February and that is going to make my best of 2023 book list for February. So let's see the housemaid. So now I'm realizing I need to do duplicates of the book that I find to be the best read. If you guys are not familiar with um, Stephanie Garber. She has a whole kind of fantasy line of books. There's five total that I know of. Um, three of them are from the Caraval series, which I think I actually wrote it down. I read it last year. Here it is, Caraval, Legendary, and um, the finale. Um, these were awesome. Uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. There's a third one coming out in September. Um, however, I noticed that um, you don't necessarily have to have read the first three to get into the last two books. They're kind of their own set. However, there are some characters that do transfer over. So um, 
I would read it in order. But to me, The Ballad of Never After was the best one so far. And I am like at the edge of my seat waiting for the uh, next one to be released, which is why I know it's coming out in September. Usually I don't follow so closely, um, but that last book was just so, so good. <clears throat> Um, sorry, I'm still a little under the weather. It's been like two weeks now, which is like insane to me. Um, but anyway, my new favorite author this month is Frida McFadden, as you'll see. These um, one, two, three, four books from January were from her. And this month, the majority of the books that I read were from her, aside from The Ballad of Never After and The House in the Cerulean Sea which um, I'm currently reading right now. So that book, I'm actually um, still maybe like a fourth of the way in and we've got maybe one more day in February. So I'm going to assume that I'm not going to finish that, but I will, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it onto this, probably gonna save it for March, but we'll see, haven't decided yet. I guess I'll see what this looks like. All right, let me just clean up some of these extra pieces of paper. Perfect. Okay, so in terms of the order in which I read these, I'm going to refer to my um, planner over here, which I have been using to log my um, currents under the monthly spread here or this um, habit tracker page. I've been putting down what I've been reading or uh, reading and then watching. So I'm just going to pat, put this on the side here so I can refer um, over to that page. And then let me get some of these stickers here. Sorry, I feel like everything in my room is like spread out today. Okay. Now that I have everything that I need, what I'm going to start out is with February. So I made these little sticker letters a while back, and I'm just going to continue in that trend here. So I did January and kind of like, um, let's see, a shortcut there. So I'm not going to do the whole word. Did an abbreviation, so we'll do this. Great. Okay. And I'm just gonna grab some tea because I'm still sick. All right, I read, well actually let's put the ballad and never ever, never after and the house made a sign. First book I read was Do Not Disturb. Then I read The Locked Door. Mm -hmm. And then I did Want to Know a Secret by Frida McFadden. So these are all Frida McFadden books. The Gift was kind of like a short story one, but it's still something that I read. One by One, Suicide Med. And I basically, I started this towards in the beginning of the month, but um, this I'm actually reading as a physical hard copy of the book. And the rest I did on my Kindle. So I can read my Kindle kind of like at night at odd hours versus I need like bright light to do this. So basically it took me a little bit longer, but to me it was like the best read. And you know, I'm gonna save the house in the Cerulean Sea for March since I'm probably not gonna finish it by tomorrow. So we'll just tuck that into there. Perfect. Okay, so. Um, first thing I wanna do is probably outline February just to keep it consistent. I'm just using my Micron Pen 01 Let's see here. I actually recently picked up the Pigma Micron Pen in blue. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but I did do kind of um, some writing in my journal or in my planner. Let me see if I can show you guys. Let's see if you like it. Not really sure if I like it yet, but it looks like this. It's a little bit more muted than the black, but um, still good. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so let's see here. I actually used an 08 micron pen to outline. So let's move these down. Probably gonna regret moving that down so quickly. Okay, so let's go like this. This one's gonna overlap a little. Mm -hmm. 
one and then let me do one over here two and then let's do one over here three one two let's count one two three four five six seven <clears throat> hopefully there's enough room four This is going to overlap a little. That's okay. Probably should have just... In hindsight, I would probably have left off the washi tape there, not drawn on that area, but... Hindsight's twenty twenty. Okay, good. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, I'll have to recheck the order here. Glad I have my little list next door. Okay, so I need some glue. And you know, before I get started here, I'm actually gonna do the drop shadow. So I can't remember which color I used, but let's do this. Let's get it all set up prior to adding things in. So to do a drop shadow, you just drop your stencil a little uh, to the left and down the same amount. And it gives you this nice little subtle shadow. It gives you some depth to your page. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't need it. But I always think it really does add a little bit, even though it's so subtle. So I'm just going to do that before I glue and start writing. Okay, good. And for here, I'm not going to go on the washi tape. Already learned. Okay, so let's see here. Go back to my list. Do not disturb was the first book. So I'm just going to take my glue stick here and stick this on there. It's really sticky. I'm really not a fan of this glue stick. I don't have a better option just yet. So we'll just stick with it. Um, the locked door. So yeah, Kindle Unlimited, you know, I um, had a, like a subscription a while back and I felt like it didn't have a lot of titles that I liked so I only did it for a couple months however if you guys are interested in like um, mystery kind of psychological thrillers want to get into books that are quick quick and fast-paced I highly recommend checking out Frida McFadden I'm like such a huge fan I joined her Facebook group online this is gonna sound so funny but and um yeah i'm like fangirling there and she's actually very active in the group herself which i think is so cool so you get to kind of interact with the author which i feel like social media and like technology has really like changed the way things um things are because like sometimes i'll tag like one of my favorite authors and they'll actually like comment on my post on instagram which to me is like so amazing like I'll be so excited and my husband who usually thinks I'm like so silly with these things he actually was like well that's like really cool I'm like yeah like the person who I'm like spending all this time reading their books they actually like liked or commented on my post which is like so cool I don't know um but yeah anyway she's very active in her Facebook group so anyway like all of these books were from Frida McFadden here and here. So you can, as you can see, I'm like a big fan. Um, yeah. All right. Sorry, I had to take a pause due to like a coughing attack. Oh my gosh, this cough is like really persistent. All right. So I'm just looking for my yellow highlighter, which is nowhere to be found. Found it. And I also um, kind of wrote down how many stars I gave the uh, books as I was reading. So I'm just going to write that down here. And the locked door also got four. Want to know a secret got four. Pretty consistently getting fours and fives from me. The gift was a short one. I think because it was so short, there wasn't a lot of development there. So I gave it a three. 
you know, suicide med, I gave a three and a half. And the reason was because it took a long time to get into the book for me. But then she kind of ties it in nicely at the end. <clears throat> and the ballad and never after, five stars. Okay, and then I will, I'm going to write in to this later, but I wanted to show you guys um, this page here, the best of 2023. I am excited to fill this one out because it kind of bothered me that I didn't put in January, but then I didn't want to like print out a whole page just for this one little um, book cover. All right, let's see here. The Housemaid Secret. Hooray. And then um, Ballad of Never After. So good. I mean, if you're looking for a light, um, fun, fantasy, not a difficult read at all series, I highly recommend the Caravel series and then the Once Upon a Time or Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. Let me just confirm that's the name. Once Upon a Broken Heart. Yeah, it's just like very easy fantasy. And usually I get scared away when I hear fantasy, but it's like really, really good. All right, so basically that was my um, layout for February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you are reading any of the books that I am or if you have some recommendations similar to Caravel series. Um, I'm really like looking for some kind of light fantasy. Um, all right, well, hopefully you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.